Hey, what's up my Uplifting Life Partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you, this is the first time getting a chance to hear me speak. First, let me say welcome and thank you for the support. I am the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, what I've been doing is I put together a series on the coronavirus, COVID-19 life lessons and sharing some of the things that we get to learn and experience while we're actually inside the home. And in today's lesson, I wanted to talk about gratitude and the fact that we're uh, basically going back to the basics of life and really get to appreciate, which is part of gratitude, appreciate what's really important. Uh, my cousin and I were talking today and she was telling me about how women can't go get their nails done, they can't go get their uh, hair done. And and so it's like back to the basics. And, um, and I laughed and I was like, but that's good. Because for me, I'm into the natural look. Now, I don't know if it's only because I was raised, like my mom had seven sisters, so it was eight girls, and all of them are natural. They, they're they not into the makeup and that kind of stuff. Now, that's not to say if they go out on some big event or something like that, that every now and then they may not put on some makeup or something. But for the most part, their their natural way of being is natural. They You know, that's just who they are. And so I guess because I was raised around that, that's what I love to see. I'm not a person that's into women putting on a bunch of makeup. Matter of fact, it's actually... Um, it actually pushes me away because once I get up close on her and I see all the makeup, it's, it's, I don't know. For me, it's just, it's a turnoff. And, um, maybe I got some mental issues. <laughs> I know some of you saying, yeah, you do. But anyway, I just don't because I want to see you be you. I heard someone say that they had a, a friend that, um, she would get up, she would set her alarm, get up early before her husband, go put on makeup and jump back in bed. So when he woke up, she was looking all whatever, beautified. And uh, for me, I just kind of shook my head. And I said, because they both got issues. One, because if she's worried about her man seeing her being natural, he's the wrong guy. Plus, it shows how she feels about herself, that she feels like she has to be made up and she's not acceptable. She doesn't love herself enough to say, this is me. And either you accept me or you don't. And um, so those are some of the issues going on. And then I have a challenge with him because there's no way in the world that she's getting up and he doesn't know it. He knows. And for that not to be a problem for him tells me a lot about him also. Because um, for my wife, shh, you getting out of bed, I'll be like, you better get back in the bed. Shoot, I told her that just on something as simple as uh, she used to get up early uh, in the morning and want to go clean on the weekends. Talking about we going to clean up the house at 7 o'clock in the morning. I said, I ain't cleaning up at 7 o'clock in the morning. I get up early during the week to go to work. Last thing I'm getting ready to do is get up on the weekend, and especially to clean up. I said, shoot, we could get up maybe about 9 o'clock, but I ain't getting up at 7. And so I eventually converted her to where those were our late days. We get up at 9 o'clock, and, and, uh, but it took a little while. But bottom line, what I'm getting to is you know what's going on, and if you don't, then are you really paying attention to your relationship? So, but anyway... The natural state of being is what I like. There's a, and I mentioned that in the last video about the, the girl that wrote the song Naked, and which is uh, basically, can you accept me? If you strip away everything, can you accept me just the way I am? Man, I love that because that's exactly what I want. If, oh, that reminds me of story my sister shared with me, and she was talking about how there was, I guess, I think it was a pastor. And he was dating this young lady. And um, so I guess they were engaged to get married. And he came to the door to, to pick her up one day. And she didn't have on makeup. And he actually asked for her because he didn't recognize her because he's always seen her in makeup. And I'm like, how could you almost be ready to marry somebody and you haven't seen them without makeup? Uh, man. But she said, uh, I guess they still got married and stuff. But I'm like. She probably should have did that quote unquote test way before then because then her feelings would have been hurt if all of a sudden you go, whoa, I ain't marrying her. And uh, <laughs> and that would be pretty bad. That would say a lot about him if he's attracted to her in every way. But once she takes off makeup, all of a sudden he don't want to marry her. But, uh, but anyway, what I was getting to when I'm talking about the basics and being grateful. The basics is realizing your cars, for example, 
I don't care how many cars you have in your driveway, how expensive those cars are. Most people are sitting at home with their cars in the driveway. Think about it. No matter how nice they are, they're just sitting there. So all they are is, it, as you guys always hear me saying, relationships are not about the exterior stuff. It's about the interior stuff. How do you feel about you? How do you feel about your partner? That's what's important because we can always go obtain all those other things. And you can see in this particular case, and that's why I'm saying why the COVID-19 is actually helping people see that because I don't care how big your house is. You sitting in your house doing what? You can have the bowling alleys. You can have the, 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 the which uh, stuff I'm looking forward to having. Don't get me wrong. But the reason I want them, because I love to entertain. So, but at this time of what we're going through, most people aren't entertaining. So now you just got a big house with all that stuff in it. And it's just a house. You're not living any different than anyone that's living in an apartment. But the world has tried to teach you or make you believe your life is so much better when you have all the external stuff. And that's kind of what I'm getting to is that this particular situation, the COVID-19, getting people to stay in the house, gets you to see that you're not different than anyone else. Your toys may be bigger. You may have some other options once you get out of the house. But that's it. We're, we're all, I've always said death is the equalizer. It lets you know no matter how much you have, no matter how the world has put you on a pedestal, you're no better than anyone else. You're no different than anyone else. I'm hoping something like this, and I'm, not that we wanted this to be something to occur for people to wake up, but that you really start to be grateful and you start to appreciate all the people that are in your life, um, you know what I'm saying? And you realize that it's not about the external stuff. Most people are just looking forward to getting out of the house. And that's kind of what we're talking about when we're saying getting to the basics. Some people just want to go out at, out of the house and actually go sit at the park or actually go sit at the beach. Just the basics. They're not talking about traveling the world, which we know some of them will look forward to one. Right now, they could just go down to the, go down the street to their own park and they'd be happy. The basics, the basics. There's a, what I, 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 the thing that woke me up was a while back is what I called the gratitude walk. And it's something I learned from uh, Anthony Robbins. He teaches that every day you should take an hour to yourself. And you all get an, get an opportunity to do that now, but use this time wisely. So what he was saying is you take an hour a day just for you and be grateful. And if you can, as he said, walk in that hour. It might be a little harder now if you're not walking out of the house, but you can't walk around your house. I tell people, even if that's what you do, walk around your table. Do some walking. Get get some movement going on, folks. Don't just sit at, at uh, on the couch. Don't go from the bedroom to the couch. I mean, to the living room to watch TV or whatever, and just keep going back. And that's the only movement that you're getting. It's not good for you. It's not good for your health. Staying in the house is actually not good for your health, but I'm not going to get into all that. Um, and the same thing for those of you who, who's wearing that mask all the time, folks, it's restricting your breathing and it's actually not good. It stresses on your body. It's not good for you. But again, that's a whole nother conversation. We're not going to have that here. I'm not saying don't wear it when you're around a bunch of people and, you know, doing your social day. Folks, you decide what you want to do. I'm not here to tell you what, what not to do, but what I'm telling you to do is don't get caught up. And wearing that mask all day long because you've listened to a lot of the stuff that's out here because it's restricting your breathing and it's actually not good for you. Especially if you're a person that's not feeling well or you're sick to restrict your breathing. But anyway, let, let, me, not, woo, let me not get on that subject. Let me leave that alone. But anyway, we're talking about the gratitude. So... Be grateful for those that are around you. Be grateful that you woke up this morning. Be grateful that you can breathe. Be grateful that you have the eyes to see. I think I shared this in a video um, earlier where a gentleman was talking about every hour, set your alarm to where it goes off. And then 
as soon as it happens, you go, wow, I'm still here. And the ideal is to get you to learn to be grateful and to appreciate every single moment that you have. And you, I mean, that's not something you have to do for the rest of your life, but do it until you, it's implanted in your head into where you're a person that really appreciates life in every moment. And when you get to that point and you really become grateful, just what I try to teach in relationships when I tell people quit looking for the external stuff. You'll see how life becomes a lot more peaceful and how um, you actually enjoy this journey a lot more. Because, And again, folks, this is not, please don't misinterpret. I'm not saying you can't have the nice things. You can, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying, because you can have it all. We're fortunate that we're in a, in, a, in, a, in a place, in a country that allows you to have it all. You can... You can have all the material stuff and you can be at peace in your life also. You don't have to pick one or the other. I'm just telling people, but if you have it, the you know, like I've said, if you have a choice which one to take, I'm going to take the peace every time, me personally. Um, I've shared that with people even as far as, because um, we're having this, the, the comment, somebody was saying, man, if, if they just gave you like unlimited amounts of money and told you you can have that or you can have your wife back which would you pick for me i said it's a simple question where's she at folks this is see for me i figured this out a long time ago what's important uh, my family will tell you i'm not a materialistic person i never have been i don't care about that stuff now with that said my goal one day is to have the 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 the, the uh, movie theater in the house and all that i do but the reason I want it is it's not because I'm into material things. It's because I like to entertain. I like when people, you know, we, we had that where uh, at our place where we had like um, like the little little bowling alley, little small, you know, miniature thing and, and little arcade games, little pool tables and stuff. Because I tell people this was just a way for people to have fun when we hang out together. And that would be the reasons that I have it. And for most people that have that in their homes right now, but because you don't have any visitors, they're just sitting. That's why I said, realizing what's important is always going to come back to people, relationships. It's always, always has been and always will be what's important. I've I've read many books or people who died and came back, people who told that gave their last tes testimonies before they left or whatever. I've never heard anybody that was that said they regret that they're not going to be able to make that meeting tomorrow. Regret that last transaction they're not going to be able to make. It always comes down to living life with, with passion, enjoying the journey, relationships with others, mending that relationship that, you know, with someone that, that they let, you know, um, they let that relationship stay bad and instead of closing that gap. That's what it's always going to come down. It's always going to come down to stuff like that. And, it, and it's never going to be about the big house that they didn't get, the big car. It's never going to come down to that. So I'm just hoping people realize that before it's too late, and that's really the purpose of this whole video. Be grateful for what you have. And it's, it's going to come from inside, and it's going to come from the human beings. The other stuff we can get, that just adds joy to the journey. But it's not what equals joy in the journey. So as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. If you haven't had the opportunity to watch my videos, run over to ronsuchannel.com. Again, that's Ron's, the letter U, ronsuchannel.com. Subscribe to the site. Give me feedback on video on my videos. If there's certain topics you'd like for me to talk, please let me know. I enjoy sharing my thought process because, um, as you guys know, like I said, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It's my opinion. So that's what they are. They're my opinions. But what I wanted to close with, what I always do, and that's if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. And that's really kind of what this is all about. Being grateful. 
and enjoying life. And it's not going to be because you're chasing the material things. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.